Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav and I welcome you. In this video, I am sharing some uh, instructions on how to do sitting meditation, right? So, uh, sitting meditation is a fundamental part of the mindfulness practice. Um, you know, it is a wrong notion to think that, uh, you know, you can practice mindfulness uh, without sitting meditation. It's especially for the beginners, I will say, because what sitting meditation does is that you are dedicatedly, take, dedicatedly taking out of uh, like 10, 15, 20 minutes, uh, 25 minutes to practice the mindfulness in a sitting way. So that acts as a booster dose. And if you are doing sitting meditation, uh, especially at the start of the day, what will happen is the quality of the mindfulness that you can maintain throughout the day will be much more. So it's highly recommended that we should do sitting meditation. We can start with like 10 minutes morning, 10 minutes evening. But this sitting meditation we should do, right? So now my whatever uh, the instructions that I am giving here is based on the instructions of the uh, teacher, the great Burmese monk, uh, Mahasi Sedao. Mahasi Sedao was a great Burmese monk who revitalized the Vipassana movement uh, across the world. And uh, uh, basically his all the instructions of Vipassana, which is based on the teachings of the Buddha are contained in the book Satipatthana Vipassana. This uh, ebook is available uh, for free. It is available in the link is there in the description. You can download it. It's a complete, you know, instructions of Mahasi on how to do meditation, not only the sitting meditation, but medita mindfulness in various activities, right? So that is available. If you want to, you know, if you prefer uh, 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 learn listening, then the uh, link to that uh, uh, ebook, uh, the audio version is all by Audio Buddha is also I am giving the link below, so you can check that, right? So, uh, so we proceed. So, what is Mahasi's method? Method Mahasi's method is noting each and every movement that happens in the body or in the mind. So, in the mind there may be thoughts, feelings, and all the imaginings, and you know all the mind going here and there, mind talking to someone, and all these things happen, right? And in the body there are movements like you know, uh, changing of the posture, so, so I just change my posture or the sensations that come in, the sensations of pain and you know, hotness, coldness, you know, all these things. So, Mahasi's method is noting everything that arises without judgment, just observation, right? Without, uh, you know, what we generally do uh, in the life is that we run away from things. Now, what is insight meditation is that we stop running away from things. We just allow, we just allow the things to appear arise and fall away. We just watch the arising and falling away of things. Friends, if you realize, no, the, the very fact that we run away from things, keep them intact. When we just watch it, when we give it our mindfulness, then we can see these things, these thoughts, these things, they just arise and they fall by itself. right? And that is how we get the insight on the impermanent nature of things. We get the insight that nothing is permanent, nothing is a permanent self. And all this arising and suffering that happens is basically suffering, right? And then when we get this insight of this creation, that if everything is arising and passing away, if there is nothing which is stable, nothing solid, then why am I attaching myself to things, people and everything and creating suffering, creating craving and suffering for myself, right? So then I let go of things. And then that wisdom that I get, this wisdom frees me. So, so... So, insight meditation practice is the way to free ourselves from suffering, which Buddha has given. Buddha said that this is the direct path I am giving you to free yourself from suffering. Right? So, uh, uh, we start. Now, so what the practice that you can follow is that, now I am just taking you as a beginner, that you are a beginner in your practice. So, it's first set a timer for 10 minutes. Right? Don't aim for like half an hour, one hour. No, don't do that. Just aim for 10 minutes. So set a timer for 10 minutes. I use the Insight Timer uh, app, which is a very, very good app. I've been using it for years. It's a free uh, version is there. It's enough for me. I set a timer for 10 minutes. You can even configure bells and all. Every one minute there is a bell. But don't lo lose your time on that. Just set a timer for 10 minutes. Whatever timer you feel good. So Insight Timer I use. You can use any timer. So uh, set a timer for 10 minutes. Now sit in a comfortable position. You can like... Uh, your spine should be straight, right? Your spine should be straight. Not, don't make it very, very stretched, but ideally it should be straight. The, the straighter your spine, the straighter is, the more you will be aware. If you are like, you know, arched, you know, or, or you know, then 
you will not be able to maintain the mindfulness. So try to have a very uh, straight posture and just relax, be in a comfortable position. You can keep your eyes fully closed or you can keep your eyes half closed. Whichever way, both you can do, right? Uh, and you can sit, do it sitting cross-legged on a cushion or you can also do it on a chair. Now, first thing what you can do is that you can just bring your awareness to your abdomen, right? Bring your awareness to your abdomen. Do not need to focus anything. Just be aware of this abdomen, you know, the navel area. And just be aware of the rising and falling of the abdomen, right? As the breath, uh, the breath comes in, the abdomen rises. As the breath goes out, the abdomen falls. So we have to be aware of the rising and falling of this abdomen. Do not try to change the breathing, right? This is not breath work we are doing. That is different thing. Pranayam, breath work, all that are different. They have their own benefits. But here we don't need to even do breath work. Just we need, are aware of the rising and falling of the abdomen, right? Uh, now, if the mind goes lost, gets lost, you know, chases things, meets some people, you know, plans for something, right? Um, as soon as you get the awareness that your mind has got lost, come back to the abdomen and the rising and falling of the breathing, right? Now, what this helps is that this helps us to develop a certain level of concentration in you so that you can carry out the the vipassana practice more right the real vipassana practice this is basically anapansati the basic rising and falling this is actually also vipassana this also forms part of the vipassana the inside practice but this is basically to build a certain minimum level of concentration that is needed for the further work that we are going to do in our meditation right so you can just do on the focus on the in and out of the in and out of the movement of the abdomen so that you can do Right? Now, if you are an experienced meditator, meditator or if your mind is right now not agitated, you can straight away practice the, uh, the next step. Right? So, you do not need to even do this. But you can just do like 2-3 minutes of this to get into a state. And after that, what you can do is just be open to whatever arises. Right? Whatever arises. Now, how what can arise? One is all the thoughts, feelings, imagine, all the things of the mind that can arise. Thoughts, feelings, imagine, imaginings, wanderings, right? Meeting people, making plans, right? All the thinking thing, feeling thing that happens, right? Or something in the body that happens, sensations happen in the body. Hot, cold sensations, pain, right? Pain definitely arises or, you know, an uncomfort arises, discomfort arises, you know, that you want to change the posture. So what Mahasi's thing is, just note whatever arises as no, this what's for example thinking arises. Note it as thinking, thinking. Keep noti noticing as thinking, thinking. You don't need to speak. Just it has to be in the mind only. Note it. Keep noting it. No, it's like it's like a cow. The Mahasi gives the example of a cow that keeps an eye on the calf. You know, even she is doing whatever work, she keeps an eye. So just we don't need to. We need to keep our attention on that particular whatever thing is there so keep noting like thinking 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 and actually actually if you do that what happens is that thinking goes right the plans that you were making for the yes uh, for, for tomorrow's uh, party it, they go the moment you bring mindfulness to it right it's like all the cockroaches and all the things are there till there is a darkness when you switch on the light everything goes right so just we bring like or if there's a sensation in the body we just note it as sensation sensation right now important thing is that if you want to change the posture some thing can come in your okay, okay hearing some sound comes you can just note it as hearing hearing or you can focus on the on the ear see what happens there are three things that happen if you are hearing the the object which is making the sound the ear and the consciousness that arises of the ear consciousness that arises. Anything. So either you can say, focus on the consciousness that is hearing, hearing. Or you can focus on that object. Or you can focus on the ear base. Whichever. One thing. Which is the most really distinct thing. Now initially, you know, uh, you may face some problem that, you know, things change. You know, so it is like. I am focusing on the rise and fall of the abdomen and there is some thought and then there is some sound. So just try as much as possible. As your practice improves, then you will be able to notice very, very subtle things quickly in a progression. You know, this and this and this and this and this and this. 
you know, you'll be able to notice it very, very fast. Right? So, at the start, it may be like just you note hearing, hearing, and then you note rise and fall, and then your mind wanders everywhere, and then you come back to your mind, and you know, it is maybe slow. Please persist. Right? Okay. So, you do that. Uh, so, uh, just note whatever without any judgment or aversion. Right? Now, discomfort when it arises, do not immediately change the posture. The, 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 the you know, body and mind tells you that, you know, change your posture. It's the mind that tells you. So, just note it as wanting, wanting. Right? The, 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 the tendency of the mind to ask you to change the posture. Wanting, wanting. Just note that tendency. If you note it or if there is a pain that, ha that is happening in a particular body part, just note it as pain, pain. If you watch it as pain, pain, note it as pain, pain, it will subside. The pain will subside. What is basically, it's not the actual pain that is happening in the body. It's basically the, you know, the, the, the feelings, the, you know, uh, a, a bunch of feelings that are arise, right? So, in the day-to-day, -day, we are mindless. So, we keep on changing our postures. We cannot sit in a one posture. But in our meditation, we let all these feelings, all these residues to arise and watch. When we watch them, what happens? All these defilements, they start getting clear and we get the clear insight on this whole you know thing about you know things arising and falling by their own right okay so discomfort arises do not immediately change the posture watch it for some moments one or two minutes if still the pain persists or it becomes uncomfortable unbearable then you change and if you change the posture what you do just for example if you are just uh, bending bending or stretching, stretching, or moving, moving, so just note it as moving, do it slow. Moving, moving, putting, putting, bending, bending, you know, then raising, raising, or moving, moving, which, whatever you want to do, just do it, but be aware of the each and every movement. Right? Okay. Always remember, only one thing at a time, clearly distinct act, thing that arises, note only that, if you are confused, if you are not sure, as to what is the clearly distinct thing, note your mind's state as confused, confused. The confusion will get clear, right? Now, if you get a lot, if, you're, if you, now see, the thing is that first when we started, we started on a lower gear. For example, like you are driving a car. You don't start with from the fourth gear, right? You will not be able to drive uh, when you, if you go, uh, if you go from neutral to the fourth gear. So, first we went to the first gear. That is the rise and fall of the abdomen. Then we move to higher gears. That means whatever arises, we note that. Now, if you are noticing and whatever is arising and some difficult feelings come, difficult emotions come and you, your mind is getting distracted, right? So, what you can do is immediately you can bring your mind to a lower gear, right? And come back to the rise and fall of the abdomen, raise the energy of concentration in you and then you can... Uh, 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 again, you can go in the higher gear and observe whatever is coming. So, it's like a, a, a battle, you are in a battle and you get wounded. So, what happens is you immediately rest for some time. You don't keep fighting. You rest, you apply bandage or you apply, you know, whatever medicine you need to apply or just take some rest and then you again fight. So, similarly, or the example of driving a car, you go in a lower gear, raise your concentration level and then you start Again, exploring the, the whatever sensations. Whatever sensations, you know, the more your uh, subtleness that happens in you, the more your practice improves, you will be no, able to note a lot of sensations that happen in the body and the mind and a lot of things and past things that, that start coming. So that is our practice, noting each and everything as they arise, right? And all that clears up all the garbage that we have accumulated from not only this life but from various lives, right? Okay, so do this every time. Every time you do this, take a target. Like I will sit for 10 minutes. Ideally, I will say sit for like 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. That is where you really get the benefits of the sitting practice. Right? So the more you practice it, the more every time you are sitting for 25 minutes, suppose if you sit for one day, 25 minutes, and you don't get, you know, there were a lot of thoughts and all. Don't think that my practice is not. You are training your body and mind to sit for that 20 minutes. Your, you, you, the neural pathways are getting built in your mind to sit for that 20 minutes and keep observing. So you are making progress. Don't think bad. So uh, 
with the rise in the concentration and the more you practice then it will become easier and easier right so this is about sitting meditation i hope this was useful this was helpful please don't just rest with watching this video start your your daily meditation practice today i am telling you from my own personal experience it has saved me from near depression like situation and even a suicide like situation right so there are tremendous benefits to meditation so just we have to start if we start then things become easier and easier as we progress so i hope this has motivated you for someone who doesn't practice to practice and for someone who practices to take up the insight path and meditate regularly thank you so much do share your thoughts comments feedbacks any questions you have do share it in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaya namo buddhaya